Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps of Beauty. How are you guys? I've already chatted with everyone for a little bit and said hello. So if you're just coming in, hello, welcome. Um, and if you're over on YouTube, um, this is a live stream over on Ustream.tv where I stream every Sunday and Wednesday night at 7.30 Eastern. So tonight I'm just going over, I had a, took a class with Lori uh, Micah. She's a clay artist um, over the weekend in uh, Queens, Inc. in Maryland. So um, we had two full days. We had the uh, first day we did the heart and then the second day we did these um, charms. So um, before I get going, what I'm going to do is these, this was the second class and this was um, a clay transfer. So you can see that. It comes out like so crystal clear. I might have to put autofocus on for you guys. But we're going to do that right now because you have to let it sit. So, of course, you have to use a, um, a laser, not an inkjet. Or is it the other way around? Inkjet, not a laser. <laughs> I always get them mixed up. <laughs> what is it, Eileen? <laughs> um, so then I'm going to put this right on here. So we need some water. Uh, spray water. You love the clay? Yeah, it comes out so good. It's really good. All right, so what you're going to do first is you're going to take your transfer and you're going to put it down here like this. And then you're just going to rub it into the clay. I should have cut a bigger piece to make it a square piece, but whatever. And then I'm going to lightly burnish it. Not real hard, just lightly. So that probably isn't the best thing. Laser, okay, yes, so I laser, not inkjet. <laughs> All right, and then what we're going to do is, let me move this, we're just going to, I'm just going to spray some water on there, and then you're just going to start to rub it. And it works pretty fast. I'm just going to go in circular motion. And then just lightly, lightly. You don't want to do it, you know, rough. But it works really fast. Let me bring you in a little bit closer so that you can see the magic. Let's bring it in. There we go. Yeah, I was surprised. And then even at, um, like when you're taking the paper off, it looks like it's um, all nice and clear. You can feel it when you're taking it off that all of a sudden it feels smooth. So then you know you've reached that point where you, you don't have to get, you know, rubbing anymore. I'm going to get a piece of paper. You need a paper towel. So you do it right away. You just put it on and then you just work it right, right away. And of course, you know, I hope it works out because you know how that is. When you're on stream, it just never, <laughs> never happens the way you want it to. <laughs> you can see it's starting to come through now. She was a really good teacher. She was really nice. Hi, Renee. She so just keep rubbing back and forth. Hold on, I need a paper towel. Let's see. I like her. <laughs> And just keep rubbing it. See, now I can feel it like it's just starting to feel kind of smooth. And I'm just rubbing, you know, lightly, gently. more. 
and everybody's turned out really well. Like nobody had a, you know, nobody's didn't turn out. I think it's much better than like and what we do with the matte medium or any of that. It's just so easy. See, now I just tore that little corner off. Luckily, it doesn't matter. Is that? Yes, it's, um, yep, it's um, Sculpey 3. And it's just, um, it's not baked or anything yet. You have to put the transfer on it first and then you bake it. But so you could feel it and then you could see how clear it's starting to come out now. Ah, now see I did uh, just rub too hard right there. You see where the circle is? I just took that off. So I'm going to wipe some of this off gently. No glue. Nope. We just um, put it right on there and just burnished it on the clay. And then um, you just lightly rub on there. So I just want to take a little bit more off of the sides here. Just take that off. And you can feel the difference right away. You could feel like when it starts to be like smooth. Can you use air dry clay? Um, I don't know. You'd have to just try it. Um, we just use the Sculpey clay. Maybe somebody else knows. But you can tell because you could feel like it just feels like it's on the clay, like there's no more paper on there. Okay, so I'm going to leave it just like that. And then you'll see it'll look like there's paper on there. But then it like all disappears after like after you leave it for like an hour. It just all disappears. Okay. Let's just wipe this off. So there, so you can see it looks nice and clear, doesn't it? You can bake the air dry clay on a very low temperature, not long, she says. It just feels like there's just a little bit more paper here in the corner. But look how nice and cool, right? Yeah, it looks really good. So we're going to leave it. And then I'll show you, it'll be like, it'll look like it's, you know, the paper is back on it again, but then it disappears. I'm going to get one more little spot there. All right. Just feels like there's just one, there it goes, yeah. One little spot right there right on her forehead. All right, so I'm going to leave it. So there, look how nice that looks. Nice and clear. All right, so we're going to let it dry for a little bit. Get rid of this, and then I'll show you what we did. So this was, um, I'll put these to the side. This was the first day. <laughs> and they were, so you can see um, what we did was we took the heart. So let me see. This is all clay. Oh, I got a piece of clay there. Um, 
So we um, flatten the clay out, and then we carve this out. So it's the, um, thanks, Grammy, um, Flaming Heart um, pattern she had. She had that or the Hansa hand, but I did the heart. And so then what we did is we took a um, big, like an IO rubber, um, rubber stamp, and then press that into the clay and then we um, painted and put mica and um, over the inside and so these are the little charms that Suzanne gave me I'm gonna put it on autofocus so that you guys could see for for hold on one second so you have a better a better view of it All right so those are the little charms of course, I'm not going to focus now, right? Come on. There it is. So I painted the charms that Suzanne gave me. And then this little, um, come on. Oh my gosh, there it is. Look like uh, seaweed. <laughs> Thanks, Silver. And then she gave me the star fish there. And then you can see I have a pearl in her hand. So I put the pearl in her hand, and then um, she gave me the, the little hook, fisherman's hook, and then there's another fish, and then a turtle. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, there it is, a turtle. And then another piece of seaweed. <laughs> yes, I did the octopus. Oh my gosh, I think everybody... <laughs> Everybody was like shocked. Well, it's not shocked, but like amazed, I guess. But um, the owner, Patty of Queens Inc., she was like, um, she wanted me to sit outside. She goes, You need to go outside and <laughs> finish your piece. <laughs> yeah, but the octopus legs came out really good. Thanks, Renee. And so then I did the, um, so then she had a heart shape. This was Patty had, um, imprinted a heart and a wing. I don't know if you can see that that's a wing there on her waist right there. Yeah, there. And so then I put the two pieces together <coughs> and made her chest. And then this was a paisley, but it was facing this way and I needed it to face that way. So I kind of just stretched it out and then put it there. And then she had a smaller flaming heart. <laughs> it looks just like me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Thank you. And so I just cut out the flames and I used that for the tail part. There it is. And then I put all beads inside and then did like I did with the dragon. <coughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me. I got some water. And then um, I added some pearls like on the edge. <coughs> But that took us almost all day. <coughs> um, and then the all the, everybody at the table did the hands, and I was the only one that did the heart. <coughs> oh, sorry. It always happens. I like that. Hi, Mildred. <coughs> yeah, and so then you can see, I tried to make this look like pearls on there. And then there's pearls on that side. <coughs> <coughs> oh. And then Patty gave me the little crown for the mermaid. Come on. There it is. So that was my favorite piece. So I'm probably going to take this piece to Maryland. I'm going to put it on a box. And then we're going to do some other clay. Patty's going to teach us how to do the clay tiles. So then I'll do that. Hi, Jean. I was just showing them my piece, and they were like, um, they were all teasing me because of the octopus legs. They thought that I had a mold for it. They're like, is that a mold? I'm like, no, I did it all by hand. <laughs> so I really liked that. That was, as Patty said, that, what did she say? She said she could lo no longer be my friend. <laughs> um, but Patty's came out nice. She did a hand, and... Um, Tam did a hand, and they all came out nice. So I could show you. The ones that I really liked were these two guys who came, and they did a, um, a steampunk heart. So I'll see if I could show you those. Hold on. Um, I 
Let me find it here. Hold on. It was so cool. They're little steampunk um, hands. Uh, poor Patty, too. Then can you see that? If you have white clay, do not put it in the um, party busy. <laughs> Just arrived the party bus. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Hi, Vicky. And her poor hands. This was white clay, and it got in the oven too long, and it burnt. It got burnt. I'm going to throw the little tiles. I want to show you the hands. Yeah. So this is somebody's hand here. Oh, let's see if I can get it. So it doesn't, there you go. Oh, come on. Come on, I just had it. Is this a steampunk guy? Um, this is one of them. So you can see that there with the gears. Oh. <coughs> Come on. Hi, DRD. Welcome. Oh, I'm not going to get the twerk because it's on my phone, so it's going to flash out. This was a good one, too. This was, a, I loved his. If you can see it. Oh, there it is. Can you see it? He put staples, and then he has, um, See if I can move it up. There you go. His was really, really nice. He's got the eye on there. Look at the gears inside the heart. <laughs> I know. His was really good. And let's see. That's his. <clears throat> this one was good, too. It had a lot of um, cool colors. And she put a little bird on the inside of it. Oh, dear, dear, is Susan, and she lives in Riverview. Ah, I want to come over, definitely. Yeah, that would be great. Well, that would be fun. That's why I can't get it to focus. Well, we'll see. So I want to show you Patty's. This was another one, a blue one. That was pretty nice there. That was cool, too. It was like a Mardi Gras one. There it is. So, and that's just the rubber stamp put in there and then, you know, embossing powder over the top. That's his again. I took his a couple of times. I really liked his. This one's Patty's. It says truth on it. I'll see if I get it to brighten up. Come on. <clears throat> oh, I just take that there. Almost right there. Yeah, everybody's. I thought everybody's was really, really nice. That one's cute, too. There you go, Jean Green. This one was all lime green. That's for you, Eileen. And that's the same one, that pink one. And then that's the gear guy. Oh, this was a good one, too. This purplish color. So she had that one. I really like this. Oh, this one was like a hot pink. Hers was really good. I liked hers. And she had a little tiny bird inside, like it's like a birdhouse. You can see it there, right there. Oh, you like the green one? Patty's is really nice, she said. And so I had one octopus less uh, leg left, so I gave it to this uh, girl that sat across from me. So can you see? She put her octopus leg there, and then um, she did kind of like a uh, uh, black beard type thing. So it had uh, the skull. And I had, come on. <clears throat> and her word was magic. Oh, I can't get the focus. Kind of, there you go. A little bit. But she had the two seashells there, and then she put the octopus leg there. It came out really good. I liked hers. There it is. You can see it good now. They were so much fun. <clears throat> And then that's mine, but I wanted to see. So here it is without the mica powder. So you can see there, there's the paisley. And then, so you can see the difference, what it looks like without that. And then, this was Tam's. It's hard to see. There. That's just the beginning. She didn't get put all her stuff on there. And then that was Patty's in the beginning. It was just um, stamped and put the, and then that was mine in the beginning. So you can see without anything on it. 
but it was fun. I really liked that class. The next day's class, um, it just wasn't me. I, it had a lot to do with the saints and all that kind of stuff, and I just was not me. So they had this one. So, of course, I'm going to turn this into a mermaid. I'm going to put, hi, Debbie. Hi, anybody I missed. Welcome. Thanks for spending your Wednesday night with me. And so these are the little charms that Suzanne gave me. She gave me, oh, let me take the, oh, I'll put that off this now. So they had a bead store. That's the bead store that Eileen, you said you went to. So I wound up getting this at the bead store. And then um, Suzanne gave me the little crab and the turtle and the seahorse. I had the pink octopus. So I probably put her on a box and, I don't know, put her with a mermaid tail or something like that on hers. And then this was Mona Lisa. And I changed it to a Frida Lisa. <laughs> and it had, it's translucent, but I don't know. I stamped it and I didn't like that on that side. So, um, But if you hold this up to the light and you can't see it, it's um, translucent. So I um, just took some paint in there, and then um, um, this was collage. We collaged the um, face on, and then I painted over the face, and then I just added some beads and Maria. Come on, come on. There we go. Nope. Just will not focus on those beads. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's a Frida Lisa. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. So I did that one. And then I did the hand. A lot of people did these hands. And then the, um, I forget where the link is, but um, Patty has the link if anybody's ever interested in these um, the hands, these Hansa hands. And so there's all three different kind. There was this kind, there was one with like an eye, and I think one like a flower. It was a lot of fun. So I didn't finish this. I just kind of put a wash over it, and then I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it after that. So, But then um, the woman I gave the octopus legs to, she gave me this little strand of beads to go inside there. So it really looked good. You like the Frida Lisa? <laughs> and then this was, um, it's translucent again, but because I have so much black in there, it's not that. But I want to put, um, I cut the windows out, so I put something inside the windows. So I don't know what I'll use it for. And then here's the transfer that um, I did. So you can see that. You can see it closer. There it is. I'm just amazed on how good that clay takes the, um, takes a transfer so you can see like even now we did that one and you can see like it's kind of the paper is just slightly coming over it but after like an hour or so that paper it like sinks into the clay and then it's clear it comes out super clear so that was really nice oh and so then I did this little heart I had this little charm and it has a dangling heart so I did that one and this one I'll probably just put on a, um, or maybe a journal or something like that. Come on. There it is. So yeah, so I just stamped that and then just put a little bit of paint. Need something else, but I don't know what else I'm going to do with that. And then everybody loved these skulls. I kept mine white and black. And then I put the little jewels. You can see the little jewels in the eyes. And then um, Patty did like these um, crystal blue, like the big blue ones. Like I have, um, where are they here? Like here, these. <laughs> she put these on there. Oh my gosh, this is good. Are they all transfers or? No, these are just stamped. Um, they're just stamped on the uh, white clay. And then if we notice that um, the Sculpey clay, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. The Sculpey clay, which you think is kind of white. When you put it next to the Primo clay, so you can see that, the Primo, uh, the Primo clay is much whiter. Those skulls freak you out. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of that. She, she's really in that Lori Mike is really into Day of the Dead. That's not what I'm not, not, that's not for me, kind of. But then Patty gave me this little skull key, and we put it in between the teeth. <laughs> Come on. There it is.
So I'm just leaving. I feel like I'll do something maybe for Halloween or something like that. <clears throat> you love the sugar skulls? A lot of people did. And she had quite a few of them. She had like three or four different ones. And so then this is the same head that I stamped on the white clay. I tried to do that. I didn't like that image. Um, and that's the same mermaid that I have. You can see it here. That's the same mermaid here. Come on. Ugh. Camera. There you can see it. You're not into Halloween, I know. And then um, I just love this image because it looks so cool with the stones. I don't know what I'll do with it. And this is the glitter. I don't know if you can see it's got uh, glitter. Yeah, there you go. It has glitter in the clay. So you can see that. And so I don't know. I'll paint it. I don't know what I'll do. Follow, even if I'll do anything with it. But this was one of her cool ones. Hi, Linda. You missed the mermaid. I'll show you the mermaid. And so those were my little clay pieces. That were the only ones that I did. Well, this is the mermaid head. I'm going to eventually put um, like fibers and do like seaweed in her hair. So that's that one. And then this was um, my mermaid with the octopus legs. So you can see that there. So it's got seaweed. It's got a little fish, a little turtle. You don't do Halloween either. <laughs> and then I did the hands. And so they were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you even you sculpt those hands. <laughs> They're not very good, but yeah, I did sculpt them. <laughs> yeah, but um, of course, I just love the legs. You can see, and so that's with the mica powder. I used like a blue, a purple, a green, and then the clay I used was gold. You can see it there. The clay on my octopus legs was gold. You love Halloween, Sandy? Do they celebrate Halloween in the UK? <laughs> it doesn't have any kelp on it. <laughs> no, kind of. <clears throat> and then Tam gave me these cute little seashells I put in the bottom here. You can see that. <clears throat> there it is. And then you can see the scales on her on the side there. <laughs> So that was fun. So yeah, definitely going to bring that to Maryland, and I'm going to put it on one of those big, um, I think Patty called them a, thanks Linda, uh, a document box. The thing is, when you put any of these clay pieces on um, a box, you can't use the one that has a hinge, because what happens is you put all that tile on your top of your box, and then when you go to open it, it just falls over because the top is so heavy. So you really need a box that has a box that you, uh, the lid, where you could just take it off and on. So, you do the house up. Oh, and you have a party and everything. Wow, that's good. So, that was my clay pieces. So, I'm going to finish with that. You guys have any, any questions about that? Oh, so now here you can see. I'm going to take it off and autofocus in a second. So, can you see how the paper now is like cresting over? That will all disappear. So, you would think you would want to go in there and then wipe it off again. But, no, you just leave it. You leave it and you'll see that it will disappear. And that's not too bad, because like when I did my other transfer, it was like really white. But this one looks pretty good so far. So so we'll check it. Remind me to check it before we leave, so you can um, see that. Oh, thank you, TRD. Uh, Susan. Susan. Oh, my gosh, it'll be so much fun if we get together with Jean, won't it? Jean, you said Orla's coming, too? When is Orla coming? Let me see. And then um, poor Patty, her friend Donna, was um, sick on Saturday, so she couldn't join us, but she joined us on Sunday. <clears throat> I love the fall colors, the pumpkins and such. Yeah, I love them too. Or was coming. Oh, she's coming after Maryland. Oh, that's nice. Sometime in August. Oh, that's cool. So um, her friend um, Donna... Uh, felted all these little hearts and she gave them out to um, everybody at the table and to a couple of people that are there. She says she um, <clears throat> felts them and if she sees, she always keeps them with her and um, if she sees somebody that looks, you know, kind of sad or whatever, she goes over and gives them one of these felt hearts for help for um, love. Um, she's really nice. I liked her a lot. And that was um, Patty's friend. So you could say too. So it's all felted. 
And I think she said it's done with lamb's fur from some farm that's near her, I think. So it's very cool. Yeah, isn't that sweet? Yeah. She said one time she gave, um, she saw somebody, I don't know if it was on the street or in a parking lot, and she went over and gave them one of this, the hearts, and the woman just put her arms around her and hugged her and said, I really needed that. It was really sweet. Oh, my God, I think we were almost crying. <laughs> she, it was really sweet. So, yeah, and she just does that. So, so that was nice. All right, so then today I went to my art store because they're having a big um, sale. And so if you were watching Kathy's stream last night, she was doing watercolors. And uh, it is, yeah, isn't that wonderful? It is wonderful. Um, so she was doing watercolors last night. She was doing some tulips. And so then, you know, I always watch, uh, let me take it off autofocus. Hold on. There we go. So, um... I, I, you know, I watch Jane Davenport, and she really likes the schminky, schminky, <laughs> I think that's just schminky, um, watercolors, so I wanted to get a few because they had them <clears throat> 40 off, so I did wind up getting a few, and um, I did, if you don't like color charts, look away, <laughs> fast forward, but, um, so I have my little water, so this is a, um, a book that I did on fabric with jelly, jelly plating, and so this was with the round little plates, and then I stuck one of my little bears inside the bubble. So it's got a plastic on here so it doesn't get dirty. Hi, Effie. And so we did this one night. So we'll have to do that again because I have to start uh, making some ATCs for Marilyn. So maybe Sunday, I don't know, maybe we'll do something like that because I have to, um, to get going on that. So then um, I just put some watercolor paper, and then I stitched around the edges. So, and this was only my, I think only my second time doing a fabric, so. You love the bears? Yeah. I was telling them, Jean, I think it was when I went to the art store, I had brought my little book, and the girl who helps me all the time was just like, she just loved the book. She was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> she really liked it. Well, I might have to make her one. <laughs> yep, you got a couple people I've gotten, a couple of my bears. So this, so I swatched all, this is my Stabilos, you know, those little woody pencils, so I did that. This is my Koi, um, <clears throat> my Koi, you know, that's the one the, in that green big palette-like, so I swatched those, which after looking at these, they're, they're kind of dull when I look at some of the others. Now I have this Grim Bocker, uh, it's a pan set of um, watercolors, and they are really pastel -y. you can see how light they are. Like I swatched my <coughs> schminkies, and so look how bright they are compared to the pan ones. So you could see, like there's the yellow, and there's a the bright yellow. <coughs> yeah, because it is so cute. Hi, Sky. <laughs> um, so just a few things. So this is my Windsor and Newton cotton, and even those, those are like kind of faded. Like, look, this is cadmium red, and it looks kind of orangey. So you can see that. <clears throat> so even my Windsor Newton are not as bright as these. Not you, Mildred. Oh, maybe one day. And these are the Kiritake ones. And even these are not as bright. Still not as bright as those. Like there's the blue green, maybe that one. That one's close. The Prussian green and the cobalt blue. Well, now those are two different ones. So this is Prussian green and that's Prussian green, totally different. So you can see that. So anyway, so I have those. I swatched my Daniel Smith. Even my Daniel Smith are still there's the ultramarine blue and then there's that blue. So I still think that these are a lot brighter. Like this one is the magenta, and where's the the brilliant pink, or this one here? Those two are not too bad. They're kind of close. So, so I want to pl um, play with those and see how they are. Now I have these QORs. I forget what they're called. And these are my Sennelier, and they're pretty bright. So you can see that blue is pretty close to that blue. That blue is pretty close to that blue, and the pink's pretty close. 
But the thing that I found with this one is when I went to swatch them, you know, I tried to fade them out. So like this one, you could see that kind of fades out. This one kind of, this one still kept its color pretty good. But these schminkies, um, it took me a long time. Like it held the color really long. You can remember the schminkies by signing this slinky song. <laughs> By singing the slinky song oh no don't say that <laughs> you swatched your stickles oh my gosh Cindy, you're good <laughs> so I'll probably get a few more um, before the sales over I think that's it oh and I did swatch my zig clean color markers <clears throat> so some of them don't um, what I did was I put the full strength here and then I kind of use my water brush to like um yeah I do yeah have you tried blending the colors together? No, I haven't tried blending the colors together. I just took the water pen and just kind of like washed them out. So like the blush, you can't really like, it doesn't really show anything. Same thing with the flesh. But then you can see the other colors kind of are pink. It, you know, I could fade those out pretty well. But the lighter colors, I had a hard time fading out. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like seeing even the pale green, I had a hard time fading that one out. Well, Eileen, when you blend them, do you blend like two colors together? Is that what you do? Yeah, I know. There's the worm. <laughs> no, I don't have every one, Jean. My girlfriend has every one, I think. So that, and so then that's my zig. And then they had, I have the neon ones, too. So I have, um, I think I have like 48 of the zig colors. And then I swatched this, and I, I should have put down what it was, because now I can't remember. But I think it's my um, Intense Blocks. I think that's what this is. So I'll have to go back and look. Um, but that was it. So I'm trying to think. Um, was there something else I have to show you? Oh, I did get my, um, I got this little um, pan um, that holds the watercolors. I got this at AC Moore. It was um, $19.99 with $50 off, so it came back to $10. So I like it because it closed shut, and then you open it up like this, and then this little piece comes out. It comes out. It did come out. I had it out before. Yeah, there it goes. So you could put your, you know, swatches on here if you want. But I like it because it had quite a few of these, and I like the fact that you could close it. So if I want to take it somewhere, so I put my schminkies in here. So that's what I'm going to keep in this. <laughs> Intense blocks, you don't even have the name. <laughs> I know, because look at the colors. They look terrible, don't they, Eileen? <laughs> but um, I love this gold. This gold in the schminky. Oh, my gosh, I love that. <laughs> but um, so I got that. And then they had these um, new... Uh, I've never seen them. I don't know if they're new or not, but these are by Don Rowney. And so they had the mixed media book. And then they had, you know, the sketch, the drawing. Uh, I'm not sure if they had watercolor paper. I'll have to look because, of course, I'm going back on Monday. <laughs> they are terrible. I know the colors are not that great. And so um, so I thought maybe maybe we would try this. It's very, it's kind of, it's not real thick. But it doesn't even tell you like what the um, pounds, you know, some of them say they're like 140 pounds or 90 pounds, but this one doesn't say. It does say it's made in England. So, but this, so this is the De La Rowney um, mixed media book. So I like it too because it does have that you could, you know, perforate it. That's cool. I didn't really get one. Patty, get which one? I missed it. I missed the question. I missed the question, Mildred. What was it? Why didn't Patty get which one? So I got that. And then um, I just got a little brush. Try blending the new tube colors tonight. I could do that. It does it tell you there on the cover? It does? I didn't see it. Where? Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> it does. Right there. 108 pound it is. <laughs> Good eye, Sandy. <laughs> yes, I see it now. I see it now. So, 108 pound. It doesn't feel like it, though. I mean, the papers feel a little bit thinner. You think you'll play with your... Oh, that'll be good, Kathy. <laughs> she's, Kathy says she's going to play with her ink tents next week. Just for Eileen. 
All right, so we could do it on, I did have one of my Painterly Days book. Let me move my little clay thing out of the way here because I don't want to, um, I might have to move you out just a little. So let me just move this. I'm not actually going to put it away. Hold on. Oops, did I just move the camera? Sorry, hold on. <laughs> I just want to stick this clay, my little clay piece away so I don't ruin it. There we go. All right, let me move you out a little. You're too close. There we go. I know, Eileen act Jean actually followed what Eileen says. She never does that. <laughs> but she did. All right, so I have my little paints. So let's see, I have this brush. This is the little one. This is the big one. Uh, let's see, I'll use this one. Number eight, which one's this one? I like this number six, so let's do these two. So you can see now it's getting a little bit more the papers coming over a little bit more, but it'll all disappear pretty soon. All right, so let's swoosh them together. I need paper towel. So like I said, we're going to end the stream early tonight because I have class tomorrow and I'm not ready for my class. <laughs> so we'll go for our, like another 40 minutes or so. And then, um, and then we're going to call it a night. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. <laughs> I see you, Vicky S. You're there. All right. All right, so I have my colors here. Then we have that. And these colors are like, like I said, they're like so vibrant. So here is the yellow. I'm going to put a little bit more pigment in there. And then I will put some red over that. And they're very soft, like, I probably should spray this so that we can get the bloom on there. <laughs> so you can see that, that's, see how nice that like spreads out? I love that when it blooms out like that. <laughs> The colors are so bright. Hi, Miss Allie. <laughs> and then I'll put some blue. Put some blue in here. And sometimes it doesn't move as much as you'd like. Like, see, this blue doesn't hardly move at all. It doesn't explode, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, the stream that Kathy did last night with the tulips, that was really nice. And this isn't watercolor paper. I might have to switch to watercolor paper. Let's see. I really love this color. This is the cobalt. That one moves. See how quick that moves? That moves a lot. See that? I'm going to think I'm going to switch to watercolor paper. So let's see. See, this is what I mean. It's like got so much color on there. I'm going to switch to this color. That one doesn't move that much either, That, that like that blue does. Who is Kathy and what's her channel? Kathy is, you'll see her in the chat. She's Cass1415. If you could put her uh, link up. She uh, streams on Tuesday night at 6.30 Eastern. I don't know. Kathy, can you put your link up? Or Eileen, if you have Kathy's link, can you put it up? The links are open. Right, I'm going to switch to watercolor paper. You can see how this buckles, too? This paper really buckles. It says it's good on wet, but it pre buckles pretty bad. I love that. So there you go. 
You see that almost looks like Dee Dee's slap and dragon, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so let me switch to um, watercolor paper. I'm gonna put this other link here. Uh, I must have missed a question. We got booted from the chat. Oh no, Jean. All right, so let me grab some watercolor paper. Do I know how to spell? Which, what are you looking for? Censored. Hold on. I don't know why you should be censored. You shouldn't be censored. Ugh. Do it again, Kathy. <laughs> Sorry. Do it again. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Sensor, put it up there again, Kathy. I don't know why it, um, I allowed links and then I had to, I don't know why it keeps shutting them off. It does. There we go. Censored again. Why is that? The links are allowed. I don't know why it won't let you. Why won't I do it? No, nope, I don't know why it won't allow links. It should. Schminky. Oh, the schminky ones. <laughs> Where did I put my paper so you could see it? Schminky. That's these. They're called schminky. There he is, finally, there she goes. So Kathy's channel is Creating in My Art Journal. And she's on Tuesday nights. And she did a nice watercolor tulips last night she showed us how to do. So now, I need a bigger brush. I was watching somebody else and they said that, you know, people tape down their water. Chat is The chat's misbehaving, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with it. So you know these people, they tape down their watercolor paper and then they go and they want to put a wash on it and it'll buckle. So I was looking at, um, I think her name is Carlin Holman, and she says the best thing to do is to wet both of your both sides of your paper and not tape it down. So let's try that. I'm going to wet both pieces, I mean both sides, and then we'll see if that, that helps the, with the buckling. Although this paper is pretty thick. This paper, I think, is 140 pounds. Okay, so that's that side, and then I'm going to wet the other side. And then we'll see if the buckling works or it doesn't work. Kathy streams at 6.30 Eastern. So it does seem to lay pretty flat. Yeah, right? So that's what she said. She said that you're, you shouldn't even tape it down. Just wet both sides. And she said that will also um, hold your color longer. So, all right. So, I don't know. Do you want me to do a wash? So I need a bigger brush. Censored again. Oh my gosh. Sorry, Kathy. I don't know why it keeps turning off. It keeps going off and on. Sorry. I have it on, so I don't know. You can try it again. What a pain. <laughs> uh. All right, so. So let's try that. We'll just do like kind of a wash. And I probably have to add some more water. I'm gonna hold it up too so it'll it'll drip. See that? That color is just so nice and bright, isn't it? And that's what I'm saying about these paints. Like, they go, like, a long way. Like, I could just do this whole paper in the blue. 
Let me see. Uh, it's because of the chat. Uh, oh, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that is. Did it blink? There, her channel went up there now. Creating in my art journal, she has it there. Yep, it's yeah, it's working now. So I don't know. Get it while you can. <laughs> Get it while you can. All right, so let's see if we can put some yellow on here. Ah. Oh, you can't even see. So you see how bright that yellow is? It's really, really pretty. Look how bright that is. Found her? You got her? Okay, good. And then if I had some salt, I would throw some salt on top of here, and then you'd get all those little starbursts and stuff. But since um, I thought maybe I'll take one of my pages tonight, maybe we'll just do a little bit of that. So let's see, let's see which one I can do here. So I'm going to do this one, the painterly days, the flower. So we'll do a little bit of paint in here. Let me see what I have, which one I like. I'll do this one. So I painted a few pages in here. I've done this one. This was my very first one that I ever did. So these are the watercolor books from um, Christy Rice. So you can see that there. Christy Rice, K-R-I-S-T-Y-R-I-C-E. And she has three watering color, water coloring books for adults. So this was the, I think that was the first one I did. Yeah, so that was the very first one I did. I didn't finish it yet. So you can see I did that one. And then I think it's, it's some yellow roses. So I did that. And then I did take apart some of them already. Like I did one with a scrapbook page. I did one in my journal. I think that's all I did in this book. Yeah. So, all right. So, this one there. So, I think we'll do this. So, since I don't have enough colors in that, I'm just going to use my regular palette that I usually use. So, let me get rid of this. Thanks, Grammy. All right. So, let me move this over. So let's just watercolor in here for a little bit. So I really like doing the leaves. Or oh, should we do the leaves or should we do the flowers? Let's do the flowers first. So I'll do one of these. So I usually come in and I just wet the petal. It's just like um, Kathy did last night when she was doing her... Um, so I'll usually come across. I don't go next door to each other because then that you um, take the chance of the paint just spreading. So if you can see that, so so you can see as long as it's got a a shine to it, uh, right there, yeah. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more water because I really want it to move. I'm going to take this, I think, I believe this is Opera Pink. I really should um, put the name on there. <laughs> but So then you can see how it moves. Let me get a little more water here. And I don't color the whole flower in there. And then you can do it too with, um, well, I don't want to do that one. Let's do this one up here. You can come in and do it dry. And then you can come back and add water over the whole thing. Can you see that? <laughs> and then I'll come back in and add, I think this is darker pink. I forget what color this is. See if I have any more. Nope. 
I'm just going to touch this here. There we go. So then I like the way that it blooms when it does that. So you can come on here and come around the edge. So just like this. You love the pink? <laughs> I love the pink too. Alright, so let's just add some. I'm going to touch it again and then just add some pink in there. So you can see, you know, I like that when it blooms like that. So, and then you can move it around too. Alright, so we'll add some more water here on this one. More pink. You can see that one. That one's a really bright pink. That one there. Hi, right, Carol. <laughs> and then, let's see. We'll add some more water on this one. I'm going to do this one here. Down here. Can you see? Yeah. So the thing is, you do have to move around. Because otherwise, if I was to go right next to this next to this flower it would just bleed right into that so I like that and then let's see we can put some I wish I had some maybe I will put a little bit of that red if I'm gonna show you one Let's see if we get a little bit in there. I love the way that that just blooms right out, don't you? And then you can just move it around, just adding some more water. And then if you have too much water, you can just pick that up. Just clean your brush off and then pick that up. Can see there. Now I like I like to move them around too. All right, let's do some of the leaves. Oh, I want to hold on. So let's wet this first. This is a nice big long leaf. You found me again. Oh no, Jean. <laughs> Poor Jean. All right, so I'm going to take some of this green and just I'm just I'm just touching the side and you can see it's like this one moves really well. And I, I really like, probably should like swatch these to see which is the ones that really move a lot. If you haven't got the water, you've got watercolor paints, only watercolor pencils. Oh, you like the pencils? Yeah, I think the pencils are nice. I'm going to put some yellow in here. can't see. <laughs> so there you go. See that one. Everyone, oh no, really? It's split all over the place. I'm not going to stream long anyway, Jean. I have class tomorrow and I'm not, uh, God, that's a pain. I know because I see only in my chat 12 people. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, what a pain. But does everybody, I wonder if the other people see me. You can still see me. It's just that you're in a different chat, right? You're a good girl. <laughs> oh, it's only kicking the naughty girls out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that is. You're back? 
Yeah, it's a pain. I don't know what's going on with you stream tonight. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to do a few more and then what I'm going to do is I am let's do let's do a couple more leaves. Actually, I'll finish. Oh, uh, let's do let's do at least finish one flower. It's still kind of wet though, but we'll see. There, can you see? We still have the video and the chat. Oh, the chat's missing up. Oh, there goes my chat again. So. Now I have two people here, me and Iffy. <laughs> That's it. I only see me and Iffy. So I can see this isn't going to be a great stream at all tonight. So I think what I'm going to do, plus like I said, I really don't have anything planned for tonight. And you know, you've seen Kathy's um, watercolor too. So, so I think what I'm going to do is, you guys have any, well I don't know, because I only see me and Iffy in the chat. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to stream on Sunday night and hope that we have better luck. <laughs> so, do you have any questions for me? I, like I said, I only see Iffy in the chat, so I have no idea what you guys are talking about, or even if you see me. So, sorry for that. I don't know what to do about it when it breaks up like that. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, like I said, I only see Iffy. Is the only person I see. <laughs> oh, God, what a pain. So, Iffy, Iffy if you're there, <laughs> you're the only one I see. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's terrible. Sorry, guys, I don't know what to do. I don't even think I'm going to upload this uh, video. God, this is a pain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign off. I am going to stream on Sunday. So I don't know what we'll do, but we'll do something. So if you're if you're there, sorry. <laughs> but like I said, I only see Iffy. So Iffy, if you could type to the others and tell them bye. <laughs> Although you guys can hear me. I just can't. I can't see you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What a pain. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say good night, and um, don't forget Paul is on tonight, so at least you'll have Paul to look forward to. I hope everything works out for Paul tonight. <laughs> All right, I'll see you on Sunday. Bye! <laughs>